morning, Justin speaking, welcome to Brickwright again, welcome to the channel. If you're new, really appreciate it if you could subscribe to everybody else is coming back, welcome back. So we're on this new job now in Penn Doylen, in, uh, just outside Cardiff in the countryside. I'm doing another patio, so if you just show them the patio we're doing where Brad's working behind you there. Right? We're doing another patio, we're going to lay it on top of the concrete that Fraser's showing you there now. And it's all fine, there's no cracks in it. So these eco drains are going in. If you come over here, you've got a major stumbling block. And I just wanted to share this with you in case anybody professionally or DIY is doing this and you've got the same issue. So if you show them down there, I can come a lot closer. So what we've got going on, we have that chamber. We've shown the chamber, look free. That's the underside of the original cast iron chamber. And the chamber was just about sat on this reducer that goes on top of the brickwork here. So that concrete is a reducer that's on top of the brickwork to enable that manhole cover to fit on top. But it's only barely fitting on top. So what they've done, they put these very, very thin five mil pieces, strips of steel, two of them each side to go on there, that if that does slip, it doesn't fit down the manhole. So the problem we had was this, was by the time that manhole was on top here, it was higher than that by around about three inches, 75 mil, 80 mil ish. So the client wanted a flat patio here, joining up to where my foot is here, look. Joining up to there, so it was flat. So we took that off just to have a little look, nightmare taking that off to have a little look. Then we were gonna put lintels in to come across here, like pre-stressed lintels, like you do underground in Brick Lane when you're doing your drainage pre-stressed lintels that way we were going to drill pockets on this because it was, a, it was supported by the brickwork and then we we're going to put a, a lintel the other way like an l shape on top of each other to reduce it again to put a normal recess manhole cover on like that look for if you show them that one okay problem with this is and this is the snag because this now is a welsh water owned drain then legally we can't touch that because we're not Welsh Water registered and we haven't, you know, we're not, not on their database to be able to work legally on their drainage. That's the first reason why we can't touch it. The second reason why we can't touch it, Welsh Water haven't been out to inspect it so that if we tell them, you know, we want to do X, Y and Z to this drain to get it to reduce for the client, if they don't agree to it, then we can't do it. So if we did do this now, we could land ourselves and the client in a lot of hot water. So I've spoken to an architect who deals with Welsh water all the time. I would architect, we got on board and he told me, put it back, you can't uh, deal with it. So we've had the client out, the client's had a little look at it. She's taken some photographs and it's her decision now that if she wants to go back to Welsh water to discuss this about reducing it or making it safe, because it's not the best and the access you can't get into it because it's rusted together. So if she now wants to go back to Welsh Water and deal with them and they've got a game plan together, then that's the way forward of it. So I just thought I'd share it with you because whether you're in England or Scotland, Ireland, America, Canada, whatever you're watching, Australia, then, you know, these principles must be the same in different parts of the UK and, you know, overseas or whatever. So you, you don't want to be kind of breaking any rules or dropping yourself in the poop. There's a, there's a joke there, right? <laughs> So I just thought I'd share it with you. So we'll crack on, we're gonna put that back now. It's not gonna look the best, the patio around it, but there's nothing much else we can do. I suppose if she did call Welsh Water now, she's worried about a big, massive bill. She hasn't got the budget for it. So she's decided to put it back, that's her decision. And we're gonna make the patio look as best as what we can around it. So not ideal, but um, stay tuned. We'll show you some more. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you've had an experience like this, leave them in the comments below. And uh, it really does open a big can of worms, doesn't it? But you can't just do what you want to do to some of these manholes. Check whether they're privately owned by you or check whether they're council owned by your local authority, in this case, Welsh Water. And be very, very careful working on drainage. So there we are. Tip for you. Cheers. Bonjour. <laughs> Brad wanted me to say good morning in French. So yeah. Like Bonjour. We tried to get in there in Welsh. See, you weren't having it. So anyway. What we got here going on here, look, is if you come a bit closer then, right? Going back from this, we're on another day now. So yesterday was Monday, today's Tuesday. So I went home last night and had a good think about this. So where we 
ended off yesterday with this. We spent a lot of time on this yesterday. I had a bit of a, a dull day. Didn't earn any money on the job because we were basically talking to the client, phoning architects, phoning Welsh Water, and trying to tick all these boxes that I was going on about yesterday. So yesterday we left the job that we couldn't change the size of the chamber opening because it's successful. We could walk into it, so nobody's really getting down in the middle of that. So we were told we couldn't touch it whilst water didn't want us to touch it so what we're going to do now is i thought right we just replace the lid but then in the builders merchants the closest size they've got is 600 by 600 that's 750 by 750 and that's not sitting on the, the opening properly so then i went to look online at all these recessed manual covers like that but the bigger ones are from 350 quid way up to a thousand pounds so i thought well clients not going to pay that I scoured the internet last night, managed to find one, and we've ordered it this morning. It's 270 quid with express delivery, and it's coming tomorrow. So what that will do now, it's a, it's a metre by metre. So that now will go over the whole area. It'll sit on the reducer. It won't be sitting on these metal bars. They're only five mil thick. We can lay the patio slabs in it, and we can get rid of this, you know, because the patio would have been like this. Like, it wouldn't have been right. So it bugged me last night, so I spent a couple of hours, ticked all the boxes, so once we put that new cover on there now, we can get in there, because that is rusted together, so you can't even access it, so we can get in there now, the cover's going to sit on it so it's safer, and it just ticks all the boxes, we're not disrupting the manual for Welsh water and upsetting them, so we're not doing anything illegal in that respect, and then the client gets a better job, so she's happy, we're happy, we're just waiting for it to arrive, when it does, we'll... Um, We'll show you then. Right, <clears throat> we started, so Brad's having a go with this. So this is what he's done so far. It's about one o'clock-ish. So we've just had lunch. So we set all them in, done all the cuts, start, sorted all our levels out, put all those um, edgings in from the tegulars back there, and he's on the manual. So are you finding it, Brad? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah? Good morning. Just trying not to get any stuff down the manual. Yeah, any tricky bits so far? All of it. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's been right. Um, there's a couple of tricky bits in terms of the levels, because it's all a bit. Um, I don't know if they remember. I, I don't know if which, how, how much you've showed them of this. Well, that over there. I have showed any. Mm. There's a step in there like that. So we've raised that end, and as we're trying to do it, we're trying to get it all to fall into the eco drain. But some of it, from about this point on, is going to fall down there. Yeah. It's going that way, and so obviously up there as well. It's yeah. all natural drain, so it's all just going to go. We had to twist it, didn't we? We had to twist it a little bit. And like you say, there was a step by there. Yeah. So we've done it now, so the client haven't got a step because she's uh, yeah. she's on a walking <coughs> stick, so it was key for us to, yeah. to get rid of the step. Yeah. So, But the levels were already there, and it's, it's being able to accommodate yeah. the levels and give the client what they want and sort the, the, the drainage out, isn't it? Yeah. One of the biggest reasons why we want, wanted this to be sorted because I think you already showed him this, haven't you? That was obviously going to be left in because we weren't sure what to do with it, but now it's been changed, which is one of the big things. And obviously, the man all now, which I'm doing, is this one lower than that down, which is too high, bed it up on a better comp ball, level it from left to right, and then that way as well. So it's got the, the fall, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Then just, uh, just got to get on with it show you where we're working so we're working that's where brad is in there so you come through into the main section of the garden and then you've got this we haven't done this this was done by somebody else a couple of years ago but let me just get down to the bottom and show you because it's oh, i love it it's so quiet here we're just outside cardiff capital city of wales obviously so we've got the hustle and bustle of the uh of cardiff city center which is just in the distance over there. So it's not very far away, really, in the car. And then you come to here, and we, we repaired all these tagulars for a couple of years ago because they were somebody had put them in, and they were all up and down. And then we built this wall for our client a good few years ago now. It was about six years ago, we reckon. I remember the name of these bricks. They were pewter. They were pewter bricks, and they're like a grey, so really nice. And then we had those... Um, caps then on special order those coat bins and pillar caps and then her outlook then she can sit here and enjoy a glass of wine or a cup of tea or whatever or a beer
and look at that it's just got all that to look at and this, this field here you've got cows and all kinds of stuff when the farmer lets them out so what we did is we did this and we put a little gate on here and we put those chains there so when the field's empty and she wants to take the dog for a walk the farmer's given her permission that's her backyard so yeah it's a lovely little area isn't it really really nicely kept garden and a lovely lady we've done some a good few jobs for an hour over the years and it's a tricky job we're doing and if i'm honest normally we probably wouldn't do it because you know we got the choice now of doing jobs that are easier and better and bigger and stuff but you know when you've got a client who keeps coming back to you and she's really really nice um i think running a business th these are the people you want and you want to keep them happy and uh, that's what we're intending to do so back up to brad now thought i'd show you that so I'll give you one last little look at the view the bins are not only there but yeah the walls a lot bigger on the outside because obviously it's stepped down but oh, i could spend the whole day long looking at that and not get bored right let's get back to brad so this is day three now so fraser's having a go today so brad did all this yesterday and if anybody's wondering why i brought these eco drains right down to here there's a customer's request that we got a, a dog what you call it a dog wee wee and toilet toilet bin thing going here so she wants to be able to clean that out so she wanted the eco drains extended down to here so she can wash it all into there so that's what that's there for if anyone was wondering but Frey, you're having a little uh, blast on this today brad had a go yesterday so Frey's has turned the day so it's important isn't it that everybody has a little go and everybody has a you know tries to come up the ranks a little bit and have a bit of training so that's what we're doing so i'm going to cut this now so i think i got the hardest job have i Mm -hmm. There's always, always got the hardest job, Brad, have not I? Don't matter, right? No matter what day it is, no matter what you're doing, you're doing the hardest Cost work. Down. Exactly. Right, so let's get this cut for Fraser. It's difficult to film, we can't set a tripod up and we can't do it because it's so you know, tight here, but we'll do our we'll do our best for you. So uh, yeah, hopefully the video comes up alright. So let's cut this. <laughs> Fraser's marking up all the cats now, he's having a go at doing that as well. How are you finding it, Frey? Hard. What's harder? The, doing the mixing and the labouring or being on your hands and knees doing that? Yeah. I reckon mixing's harder. You reckon mixing's harder? No, of course not. <laughs> he's just saying that just to uh, just to be bloody awkward as you. Right, that's it, you're not having any dinner now, you. Sorry, you already had it. <laughs> he's already had it. <laughs> Oh, right, well, let's blast on with this then. We should be able to level from left to right now as well, Frey. I need the four foot back up here. Okay, I'll go and get it for you now, mate. No problem. So here we are then, day four, another day. So Fraser did all this yesterday. Put all these cuts in, marked them out up against the wall as we've been showing him. So, you know, I'll show me your handiwork there, Frey. Sorry we can't show you a time lapse or as we're doing it, because I said it's still so small. But how, how did you find it, Frey? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, there's a couple of intricate cuts there that we showed you, wasn't it? How yeah. to do it and stuff. So, you remembered how to do them now in your training? Yep. So, there we are. Great. You've done a fantastic job there. Brad did this, Frey's has done that. So, really pleased for the lads. You've done a good job. So, what we're doing now, <clears throat> we're back to this dreaded manhole. So if you just show them that now, we're digging this out um, to put this in. So let's show you the manual we bought. Come this way, sorry. So here we are. So this is the beast that we bought. So it's got four screws on each corner, or one screw on each corner to make the four screws. And it's a recessed manual cover. So that comes out with the outside exactly the same as what a Clark drain would that you buy from Travis or Dusons or whatever you guys get them from. And then we can lay in there then and that's that's fit for five ton and it's still it's got a rubber seal on it so it ticks all the boxes so we'll get that in 
and then all these problems about us cutting the manhole and putting lintels in and reducing it and putting our smaller Clark drain on top and people not being able to access it and Welsh water not being happy and you know you've seen the rest of the other video so we'll get this in now all we're doing is changing the lid the access is the same so we're not upsetting anybody we're not reducing the size so it ticks the box so what we're going to do we're going to end this video now and then if you want to see the next bit we'll show you a special video on the, on the, on the next video to follow this just about this so please like and subscribe thanks for watching any comments leave them below and uh, see you on the next manual bit cheers